This is uh, Michael Riley um, regarding the five pin harness. I want to show you um, the old ice maker, uh, the modular ice maker that replaced it, um, and how to simply uh, replace this and identify the modular ice maker. Um, too many people are making this very difficult, and it's not. It's not difficult. Um, first of all, this is the old. This is the old, old style whirlpool ice maker that was used. Um, heaters on the bottom still, just like the monitor. Um, but you notice the front's got the uh, metal brass um, cover um, in the in the gear. And uh, if you look, I'm gonna put it down here because it's getting difficult to. Um, the screws are out of this, but if you look here, I pull this off. You'll just see. All the wiring inside. Okay. You just see all the wiring inside. And you see the harness right here. How it goes in. There's no plug there, okay? It's actually wired into, direct wired into the head. Okay? So, the modular ice maker has a plug that plugs in right there, into the head. This is the head. The front of the ice maker, with all the workings, is what's called the head. Okay? So, the harness plugs in to the back right here. On the modular. This one direct wires in. So the new ice maker that Whirlpool just came out with, the W11513, what, excuse me, W11517113 ice maker, that's on factory back order, it has a pigtail just like this. It plugs, it goes, it wires right into the, and it's got all wiring in here. So it appears that Whirlpool's gone back to the old garbage design. Which this was just, I mean, it, it worked for a while, but all these switches, micro switches in here and everything, it wasn't, it wasn't something that was easy to diagnose. Um, and it, it was not something that anybody even tried to fix. Parts wise, you just replaced the whole ice maker. Okay, so, and then you had the corrosion with all the terminals and stuff. You see they're all open terminals. And the, and the switches would get corroded. Um, the heater, if you can notice down here, that terminal's corroded down there. Um, you know, if the water comes right, the water, the mold is right behind that ejector blade. Uh, you can see it in the center there. That's what engages the motor. Right here, the motor cog. Okay. There's switches on the back side and the motor, and it, it was just cumbersome, and it's also very heavy, okay? So, right here, this is the key. This harness wires in. There's no plug here, okay? So, if you're a novice, that's fine, but there's no plug here. That's all you have to look for. If it wires in and just goes into, the, into there like that, then you know there's no plug. You can't unplug it. This is an old style. You, this is garbage. Now, this is what they're using now as a brand new ice maker because it, it, it appears, I don't know if it's true or not, but it appears because they lost the modular. They're not using the modular. Why is that? It, it appears maybe they lost their patent. I'm not saying they did, but maybe they did. So they're going back to this old garbage design. Do not buy this. That's my advice. Do not buy this. The engineers should redesign a new one. You don't go back to an old design that they that was just garbage and you threw away and you replaced some 20 plus years ago. So, okay. So here's the wire arm. This is hard to do with 
one hand here. But the wire arm is the same, but it had a switch that it moved in here. It's just totally different than it is now. Okay, so then came along the modular. Everybody's seen this probably. Okay, this is the modular ice maker. It looks pretty much the same. Except you see the white little cog there for, for the wire arm. And then the wire arm goes into that into the back there. Into the hole in the back here from the front. Okay. Then you got your white cover. This is really difficult to do. I got to put this back on the tripod. Okay, so here's the here's the modular ice maker. Okay. If we go around to the other side, you'll see the plug, the harness. Okay. Okay, see the difference here? See the harness? Okay. There's a plug that plugs into the back of the head of the ice maker. Like I said, the f that box is the head of the ice maker. There's a plug. See it? That's a modular ice maker. It's got a plug. Okay? And it doesn't matter what's on this end. This end is going to get changed to your five pin. So don't worry about what's on this end. Okay? That one's a is open with four pins. Another one here is got the prongs, four pins, different color wires. You got another one here. This goes into the head of the ice maker, but the other end of it's round. Don't don't worry about what what your harness looks like that you have. Okay, don't worry about it. You got to throw this away. These harnesses. You gotta throw away. They're no good. You're gonna unplug this flat end, and you see that tab right there? That's the key to getting that out of the head of the ice maker. You're gonna push down on that tab, and that tab is hidden underneath the white cover. You have to take the white cover off the front of the ice maker first to see this tab. Okay, I'm gonna show you in a second. Okay, so as I said, there's the connector. This cover is not all the way on for a reason. They're kind of hard to get off sometimes. And I don't want to do that on, on videos, try to sit here and fight with it. So this, the white, the white and the black usually close up. This, this gap closes up and this, this shuts all the way. See that? Okay. You can't see the tab anymore, right? No. So what you have to do is you have to take... Man, I just closed it all the way. I didn't want to do that. I don't have enough room to do anything here. Okay, so we're going to pull this cover off as soon as I can get a hold of it. Okay, there. It's not going to be difficult this time. Okay, so I'm going to get this cover off. Just pull it off. That simple, okay? I grabbed it from underneath. I grabbed it from underneath. Got my finger in a little, little, my fingernail in there and, and pulled it apart. Okay, there's the tab. You see that? So what you're going to do is you're going to turn this ice maker over, set it on its side. You're going to take anything. Usually it's easier with a flat blade. But I got a Phillips in my hand. I'm going to push down on this tab. Push down. And I don't have three hands, so I have to sit here and try to do this. Push down on that tab. OK. 
okay and pull the pull the harness out pull the connector out it's that simple if you have two hands free I, I'm only using one hand here it's difficult but you see that tab right there okay that tab goes underneath there and push all the way in I had one customer call up or message me and say it's not working I just bought it and it's not working I need a new one they didn't push this all the way in and it didn't snap in so it wasn't making an electrical connection inside here okay these pins were not making connection so you have to push this in don't be afraid push it in until it snaps and you see in the window here the whole tab if you still see the tab sticking out back here it's not all the way in you need to push it in until it clicks and that tab goes past that and gets inside that window over here all of it then it's locked in okay if you don't have it all the way in you're not gonna have electrical to the ice maker simple as that the contacts inside are not gonna make close they're not gonna make they're not gonna be touching okay so you pull out your your harness and you take the new harness with the five pin connector on it this is just a simulation because I don't have one made right now I've, I've shipped them all out but here's the five pin harness okay so I just have those wires pushed in there they're not they're not in there right uh, but this is the, this is the harness it's about 12 inches long this is only about nine inches long it's it's this just a simulation but it's exactly what it is this connector on that end and the five pin on the left end okay so you're gonna take this you're gonna push it in there when you get it till it clicks and it's inside that little window to the right okay then you're gonna hang the ice maker on the wall and you're gonna put well you won't be able to hang it on the wall yet you, you want to just kind of plug this connector in plug this connector into the into the five pin connector in your in your freezer and there's there's a little lock here okay so you plug it in there in the five pin connector in the freezer and then hang it on the wall so we're over hanging on the wall on these two hangers tighten the screws now there's a there's an adjuster down here you can so it's going to mount on the wall this way okay and then there's a this a little adjuster down here and I could be honest with you I don't ever put these on because the refrigerator if the refrigerator is level the ice maker is level this is what this is for it's to level up the ice maker up or down back you know um, in case the refrigerator is not level but get the refrigerator level you won't have to worry about this but you can put this on that's fine comes in a little bag that comes with it um or with the ice maker and <clears throat> and then you can um this this goes like this so then that screw goes into the wall so the hangers are up here and that screw goes in the wall and then you can adjust it okay so this is the modular ice maker the front of the modular ice maker you can't mistake it okay if you have this front of the ice maker this this head this is what this is called the head of the ice maker okay if you take those three screws out this is what you have okay this is what's called the head of the ice maker if you notice now these copper tracks this is what they've gone to instead of any electrical inside so if you look inside the the cover now of the ice maker with the module off that's what it looks like not all that wiring and switches okay you see these terminals here you can see if I go sideways they plug into
these copper tracks. You can see there's a gap between those tabs. And those pins push into those and that's how they make connection. There's another one right there. Okay? So the other thing too is if you ever have a bad connection, you might have to squeeze these together a little bit. So they make more contact with the pin that goes into them from the head. Okay? So, or from the body that you're going to put this head onto. This is the head of the ice maker. This can be replaced separately. That's why they that's why they upgraded this and made it everything on here so that this was much more easily to diagnose if there's a problem you just replace the head and it took care of 99% of the problems unless the heater was shorted and these heaters will start leaking the body the mold leaks into the heater and it'll it'll short the heater out and you can't replace you can't replace that so that's the modular ice maker and this is this is the modular ice maker so if you see a modular ice maker, or you see an ice maker like this, you don't have to guess. That's a modular. If it has that, that, that head on it just like that, looks just like that, okay? That's a modular ice maker. So that's the Whirlpool modular. That's what we're talking about. That modular ice maker goes with the new harness, okay? And this is going to plug into, if, if you've got the... If you've got the connector here then that's a modular too you don't even have to look at the head you don't have to look at the head you just look at the side here if it's got that plug that's a modular ice maker that's the one you need if you have a five pin connector in your freezer and you get this new harness that I've designed which is not available anywhere anywhere in the world this is something I designed so that you don't have to wait for the Whirlpool garbage ice maker it's on factory back order that has a, a pigtail and a totally different harness. Okay? This harness, Whirlpool does not make this harness for the modular. They're not going to use the modular anymore. They're going they with that garbage ice maker, what I call it. Okay? So, this new harness I've designed, and you can't get it anywhere else, like I said, in the world. It, it, this, is, this is my design. So that you can use the five pin connector in the freezer to plug into your old modular ice maker or get a modular ice maker get one you can see, you see them online all the time okay get an, a modular ice maker it looks just like this with the plug on the side and the harness that's in there that it comes with if you find one online and it has a different harness don't worry about it you're going to take the harness out. Okay? You're going to remove the old harness. You're going to unplug it and you're going to put in the one that I've designed to plug in here. It has the same connector and it's got the five pin on the other end so that you can plug into your five pin connector in your freezer. So all that matters is that it's a modular ice maker and you have the five pin harness that I designed and it'll work. Don't worry about where the what color wires or anything else. Okay? Don't worry about all that. That's my job. It's already been figured out. Okay? So, modular ice maker, five pin harness. I sell the kit with the ice pen modular ice maker and the harness. Or you can buy just the harness if you already have a modular ice maker from your previous refrigerator. Or if you buy one, a modular ice maker, that's fine. You can get the five pin harness from me that will plug into your new modular ice maker and plug into the five pin harness on the other end that I showed you. Okay. So the other, the only other thing is that you want to take out this, this is going to come with this, this piece in and they score this U shape. They score the U-shape here, but you have to be careful because if you take pliers and try to pry that out, you're gonna break. You're gonna break this whole fill cup off. You're gonna break it off. I've, I've, I've seen people do it all the time. 
So take a knife, a, a sharp, sharp utility knife, and just go down, score it more and score it more and score it more until finally you can bend it with your fingers and pop it off. Okay? But the fill tube comes in from the back wall. The fill tube comes in from the back wall, as you notice when you look in the freezer. So you need this cut out. When you get it, it's going to be just like this on the side. It's going to have, a, but it's going to have a score. There'll be a score there already. Okay, that you just hit, you just cut the rest of the score out. Okay, so the only other thing that you have to, uh, that you have different on different ice makers, um, that you have to be careful of if you're going to go buy another ice maker. Um, and my my harness, but you want to buy your own ice maker is the wire arm. The wire arms can be different, different shapes, different, you know, they go down farther, or they whatever. So just make sure you get um, the right wire arm. And the best thing to do is you just get one um, that goes down. And you see it, it, it comes out here and it'll go down and over and up. So it goes down quite a bit. Okay. All that wire arm does is touch the ice, and if the ice is um, already filled up in the bin, then it's going to stop. This is the shutoff arm. So when you raise it, it shuts off the switch in here and shuts the ice maker off. So if you get one that's too short, it's going to fill up more ice. It's not a big deal. Okay, so it's not really a big deal. But... Um, it tends to overflow the bin, so um, it's people like it a little bit longer. So, so just keep in mind, this is your modular ice maker. Okay, it looks like this. It's got the connector right here on the side. Okay, where you plug in the harness, but you have to take the cover off to push the tab to release the harness. Okay, and put the new harness on. Okay, so. I'm going to go back up here and um, I hope this, I mean, it, it's kind of all over the place because I can't hold hard to hold this thing at the same time. But um, hopefully this will help a little bit um, to just see that it's not as difficult as people think. Um, I was just talking to a guy and he was all worried about the wire configuration, the colors, and don't worry about that, okay? Keep it simple, K-I-S-S, -S. keep it simple, Sam. Um, but now you also know what the, what the modular, what the word modular associates with. It's this ice maker, this ice maker, okay? Denoted by this, by this head. If you see this head, you automatically know it's a modular ice maker. Because no other ice maker that has this head is not a modular. They're all modular ice makers, okay? Been around 20 years, okay? So, and then your plug connector. If it wires straight in, it's not the ice maker you want, okay? And that's what Whirlpool's new one does. It has like a three inch, it's got a like three inch pigtail coming out of here, but it wires all the way in the brand new one that Whirlpool has. It's on factory back order. So now you have to get an extension cable from this to the back wall. It's called a jumper harness. It's just ridiculous. The engineers, why didn't they just make the harness long enough and put the right connector on it? They don't even have the right connector. So anyways, the solution, modular ice maker, and my new five pin harness is what it's called. It's got the connector for the ice maker on one end and the five pin connector on the other end that plugs into your freezer. Problem solved, two minutes installation if you buy the kit with the ice maker, modular ice maker and the harness. Or if you buy, you have one, your old one, just take the cover, white cover off, push down on the tab, pull the old harness off, throw it away, put my new harness on, the five pin harness, Plug it into the back wall, hang it back on the wall, you got ice. It's that simple. So people stop making this so difficult. I know that Whirlpool did by all their mess here, but I tried to simplify this and just make it as simple as possible. And that's what I did. I made the five pin harness, so you don't even have to throw away your old ice maker. 
You can keep your old ice maker, just unplug it from the old harness, plug mine in, boom, there you go. You got ice again. Okay? Actually, 30 seconds if you knew it ahead of time, because that's all you do is unplug yours from your, from your uh, modular um, and take that harness out, throw it away, and put mine in, 30 seconds, and you got ice. If you knew about the harness, my brand new one. Okay? You can't find it anybody, anywhere else in the world. I designed it to alleviate having to use Whirlpool's new ice maker. Okay? I want people to be able to use the old modular. Um, I've worked on them for over 40 years. I'm a service company, ABA Appliance. I've worked on them for over 40 years, um, and they're the best uh, ice maker that Whirlpool had, um, the modular. Um, and why they've gotten rid of it, I don't know. Like I said, maybe the patent went out. Who knows? But they went back to a garbage design. Stay away from it. That's my advice. Go with your modular. Go with my new five-pin harness, and you're back in business. Okay? All right. If you have any questions, um, you can find my email somewhere, uh, either wherever this is posted. Um, and get a hold of me, and I'll, I'll answer your questions. And uh, good luck. Um, don't hesitate to ask. One of the things I want you to do is just use your common sense because um, I'm really, really busy, and sometimes I get... People think I get aggravated. Um, I, I do a little bit. Um, it, 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 um, if I've given you all the common sense and you just keep asking the same questions, then I just kind of got to assume that you don't want an ice maker because it's all really simple there. Modular ice maker, harness. That's it. Don't worry about wire configurations, colors. So if you start emailing me with all those questions, I'm just going to say don't worry about that. Okay? All right. Really, it's honestly, it's that simple. Okay, people are trying to make it difficult. All right, take care. Um, glad to be able to help. Uh, honestly, I am. Clean up Whirlpool's mess. I worked at Whirlpool for over 40 years ago, and I can't believe what they're doing here. This is a total mess. So, take care. Talk to you, uh, well, hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Um, and get back to your ice, okay? Good luck. Thank you. Bye.